Okay, this is iron, lecture number six, iron in the brain. This will be a real short lecture. Um, basically, the more iron overloaded a person is, the more likely they're gonna have cognitive impairment related to that iron overload. Um, it's associated with increased risk to dementia. Of course, there's a confounding variable, the idea of the more meat you eat, the more of these problems you're gonna have, but it appears that the iron has a separate contributing component to that. Um, increased iron, the more you eventually, as you keep accumulating iron, you start to overload your storage capacity. You start to overload the ferritin binding capacity in your bodily tissues, and you'll start to have more iron in the blood. As the percent saturation of your transferrin, your blood carrying or carrier protein for iron goes up, it starts to, in a sense, leak iron. So then you'll have iron that's separate from the carrier protein, and it becomes free in the blood. And that's dangerous because as we spoke about in earlier lectures, you can redox cycle back and forth between Fe2 plus, Fe3 plus, and electrons can go off to combine with oxygen generating reactive oxygen species, which leads to uh, oxygen related free radicals, which leads to lipid peroxidation and damage of plasma membranes, mitochondrial membranes. Um, and you know, once you lose your mitochondria, a cell doesn't function well, it quite often dies. Okay, so the more brain cells you lose, the less um, the lower the quality of your cognitive function. And the hippocampus, the memory center of the brain, is especially sensitive. So, you know, we talked about this in all the previous lectures. So this is like lecture number six on iron. So please watch those earlier ones if you're interested in understanding its relationship to the brain. But the bottom line is iron contributes to damaging cells, loss of neurons, contributes to loss of mitochondria, and this all contributes to impaired cognitive function. So Stancia nigra in particular tends to accumulate a lot of iron, especially with Parkinson's disease and that leads to movement disorder. Um, there's increased risk of iron contributing to vascular dementia. Just I think primarily from oxidative stress would be my best thought at this time. It's all part of that uh, like group of problems you get from a high fat diet, whereby you're gonna have tissue ischemia, you're gonna have insulin resistance, you got glucose type four transporters in the hippocampus. They'll find iron in the plaques for with amyloid and with other cognitive disorders. Um, people who've got increased iron in their brains with other diseases have a worse prognosis, like let's say with multiple sclerosis. So anyways, excessive iron overloading, as discussed in earlier lectures in this one, has a negative effect on the brain and cognitive function. That's it. Hope it's helpful.